Hey everybody, welcome to Updates from the Edge. I'm Councillor Wade Cleveland, and it's been a while actually. Thank you all for listening. And uh, it's kind of interesting because we haven't done one of these since before the pandemic started. And so it seemed like a good time to get back into it and to talk about some of the construction that's going on in the Yarmouth area. And so I have with me one of the town engineers. It's Demario Dunkley. Thank you for talking to us. Thank you. So explain to us exactly what's going on. So this is the storm sewer separation project, Wade. And we're talking about a 100 year old combined sewer and storm system that we've been using for a long time. It is, it's run its life. Uh, it was great construction, but we've decided to essentially split the flows of storm and sewer and essentially changed the water line that was in place as well. So now we're gonna have three separate lines that are dedicated to each of those services and continue to give us good infrastructure. And, uh, you know, now we just have new services and we'll have a much longer life cycle for those services. All right, so first question, why? Why is it necessary to do this? And I know this is considered a green project. It's environmentally sound. So why do you do this? Right now, our wastewater treatment plant is processing that storm water, and that storm water could be or can be taken and sent through an outfall into the harbor, just clean rainwater essentially. Uh, right now, if we take that flow and we split out all of the rainwater, we can reduce the operating capacity of the wastewater treatment plant. And then we can also, as a result, use less electricity, and then as a result, also use or uh, produce less GHG. Okay, so how do you do that? Is it as simple as digging everything up and separating everything? Is in having like a, a sewer system with a with a manhole cover that, that flows everything and then the sewer is separated by another line? Definitely, so uh, essentially what you're doing is you're going to take uh, take out or remove the whole 100 year sewer and everything, there, there are a number of pipes that would have been fed into that at various locations for storm and for sewer. We just have to connect those to their respective dedicated storm lines and dedicated sewer lines. How deep down did you have to dig to get to those old sewer lines? And you must have seen, I mean, that's like looking into history. That stuff is quite a thing to see, I would think. Definitely, and it, uh, it was uh, a little smelly. Uh, I can imagine. Know, put a few hairs on the chest, but uh, you know what? Uh, it was probably about uh, three, three feet down. Uh, probably about three feet down. Okay. Now, everything started in early June. Here we are, just about the end of July. Yeah. How much longer is it going to be before this part of the project is finished? Uh, we're looking at the end of August for a tentative completion date. Now, how far up? I know that you've done all of Glebe Street, and obviously, as we stand here on Main Street in front of it, does this all run up through Parade Street as well? Uh, as far as I know, that would be a separate project, but really, this is uh, from Willard F. Allen, that intersection just up to First Street and then Green Street. Okay, excellent. Let's bring in Matthew. We've got Matthew Goodick, who's a student, and it's kind of interesting because I just want to talk to him a little bit about his experience because what it is is a co-op project. And uh, so it gives you a lot of experience. I imagine you're getting a lot out of this. Yeah, so I've been in school for three years now, and this has given me kind of a good opportunity to get some field experience, um, kind of see like some real world and apply my studies that I've done over school um, to a real world application. So yeah. What school do you go to? Dalhousie University. All right, and how long are you here? Are you here for the entire length of the I'm summer? I'm here for eight months, it's an eight month there. Oh, oh really? I'm here until December, yeah. Wow, yeah. so there's a lot of projects that you're gonna be involved yeah, in. Yeah, so I'll be here for the completion of this project, um, and then hopefully the start of a, a new uh, project down at Terminal. All right, excellent stuff.